Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn of Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be opening some packages that we got from eBay, and also another package that I got from somebody, and also another package that I got off of Facebook. And we're going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into our video. So I've got a little special treat that I'm going to share at the end of this video. But first of all, I'm going to share a couple of pieces that I got off of eBay. So let me pull the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to save this one here for last. Then we're going to start with this first one. Okay, first of all, let's kind of give it the shake test. There's no movement whatsoever. I mean, you really got to... But we see that we have... This one here was under a huge box. Somewhere along the line in the shipping. So we'll go ahead and open this thing up. Now the smaller pieces you can ship in a flat rate box without any issues. Okay, let's take a look inside there. We have one of the favorite shipper tools when it comes to cast iron collectors is cool noodles. So let's take a look here. This is a nice job right here. They got it wrapped in bubble wrap to keep everything together. They've also got the rim covered. Well, not to mention the handle. Look here. <laughs> Plenty of room for protection. Be surprised at how many pictures of handles broken off I've seen on Facebook. Here we go. Nice job covering the rim. So here we go. We're going to talk about both these pieces after we look at the packaging. Package number one. Package number two. We have no movement whatsoever. This is good packaging right here. Okay, this one right here is packaged really nice with paper wadden. Packing material, good idea. Top and bottom. We have the same variation. We don't have the pool noodle, but we also have corrugated cardboard, plus it's taped on really well, wrapped really well with bubble wrap. The reason why I'm showing this wrapping is because I think people don't realize how fragile cast iron can be when it comes to shipping, or people don't realize just how much can happen to it in shipping. So they have bubble wrap on top, then they had this on here too. So. Double protection right there. We're just going to go right down the center of this and with our scissors. Nice and thick. Good deal. So, I'll give both of these shippers an A-plus on their shipping. So let's move this aside and we'll take a look at our pieces. Now, one thing I started doing not too long ago is I started kind of thinning down all of my pieces that were not Birmingham Stove and Range and started collecting only the number threes in everything else. So, I have two little number threes. This is a Lodge Arc logo piece, and it has a single notch right here at the top. This is the first one that I got off of eBay has a really nice surface. The older pieces are always so much nicer. I believe the sand that they used in their sand molds were a little finer. I think uh, it actually caused some health problems. One reason why they moved away from that. This is, a, like I said, a number three. And it's also got a raised mark right here, which is very cool. And Lodge Arc logo. Now the other one is pretty much the same skillet with one exception. See the Arc number three? 
logo and we have this mold mark right here this is a looks like a C I believe the mold mark at this time frame probably even designated the actual worker not totally sure about that but really good surface really nice piece now these two pieces are almost exactly the same as far as their their measurements their measurements are identical get the light this right here almost identical except for the exception of this one has a notch and this one doesn't now these are going to make two nice little additions to my number three collection now i don't have a large collection at the moment so far i've got 27 pieces in my number three collection so that's not a large collection but it's growing it's growing by two this last few days but uh, these are two nice little skillets very 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 slick very nice finish now my understanding when it comes to the arc logo and the notches the no notch lodges are the ones that run somewhere between 1910 up through the 1920s and you will also have the arc logo with the no notch at the same time you have the the unbranded piece or the or the unmarked piece and the marked pieces running at the same time and the same thing goes with the single notch now the single notch runs from the 1920s into the 1930s so we have two variations 1910 through 1920s 1920 through 1930s there might have even been a little bit of overlap with the no notch and single notch i'm not really sure i just thought it'd be cool to share a couple of pieces of lodge from 1910 up until the 1930s eventually when i get every piece of the lodge section i'm going to just go through the entire timeline i still like a little bit so we're going to be working on that and like i said earlier i got a little bit of surprise i've seen these here on facebook and this here let me pull the camera down so we can get a better look at this i'm just going to go ahead and use one of these now i got these here from a friend of course i've already taken them out of the, the little baggies but i got these from a guy who picked these up and these are so interesting we have birmingham stove and range on the marbles it's just printed right on the marbles i don't believe they're baked on but let me unwrap all of this Okay, here we go. This is our marble collection. So let me pull the camera up and we'll get a better look. Number one is my favorite altogether it is the Birmingham Stove and Range piece. Now I've got five pieces of the Birmingham Stove and Range, which I was very excited about. I have one that was I thought was really interesting is right here is this little piece, which is an eerie. And then I have this one right here, which is a wall pack Indian. And I have a wall wrath. Up until this point, I was thinking I've got something kind of old here. Uh, one thing is the, the guy that I got them from, he said he really wasn't sure what the age was on them. He was hoping they were old, but he said the guy he bought out an estate of this home of of this man and he apparently had worked at birmingham stove and range not really sure maybe he worked at atlanta stove works as well that would put these kind of at an older age if they were made at the era that this guy was working at these places i got a feeling this guy was actually a collector and he collected things that were unique and interesting to cast iron cookware because he worked there so it made him interested in it so when I looked at this last piece, this is the one that kind of gave me a date or a timeline or let me know that it was kind of relatively new. And this one right here is the one that tells the tale. This is a smithy. Now smithy is still in business and relatively a young cast iron company. 
So it tells me this in here makes all of these contemporary because they're pretty much, as you can see, they're pretty much all the same. A little disappointed that they weren't really old, but I'm still happy with it because I'm a Birmingham Stove and Range collector and I've got five Birmingham Stove and Range marbles, so I got my marbles. If anybody ever tells me you've lost your marbles, I'm going to say they're right here. So really excited about these. I'll probably share a couple of them with some friends. We'll just see. I do want to hold on to a few of them just because they're Birmingham. Pretty much the same thing as if you were buying a coffee mug with Birmingham Stove and Range on it. You're probably not going to find any older ones. Most of them are going to be made contemporary, but they're fun for collectors to have, especially if you like a specific brand. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. So thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I would like to share something with you really quickly. In Luke chapter 24, verse 4 through 8, it says, And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining white garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek you the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. I just want to say share the word and be a blessing.